chilly out here. I had to put my Dorsey hat on. Keep my head warm. Today's video sponsored by Dorsey Trailer. Alright, I don't know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. I got the oil changed over in Franklin, Kentucky. We're in Bowling Green, Kentucky, near the Corvette factory. Um, I got the oil changed, and down there at Speedco, he was having a hard time getting... This is the old fuel oil filler cap. He was having a hard time getting that to seal closed. So, uh... I came over here, this is Kenworth, and they didn't have one, but luckily there's an international dealer right next door. So they got one. So let's see if this fits before I uh, pull the tag off. Let me see if I can tighten that up. Hang on a second. I'm do that get too dirty here. Yeah, that's good. All right, that is good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that tag off. There we go. Make sure it's clearance. Make sure it doesn't hit the fan. Looks good. It's a uh, little windy out here. We got about uh, from right here. Oh, about 400 miles or so that we're gonna go for today. Here, since I got you guys, you haven't seen this tarp job. So it looks good, everything looks good. I uh, had a comment, a uh, question, why I put the wood on the back and on the front, and why don't I tuck it, uh, tuck the tarp. Now I could tuck the tarp, but I have just found that doing this and I know it kind of maybe it looks like the lazy way but I found doing this just seems to hold the tarp down a lot better so uh, that is one of the main reasons I put that wood there is just to hold the tarp down and keeps it nice and tight doesn't seem to blow up but there's some guys they're real some guys are good they'll tuck it under there it looks beautiful me I'm not that good at tucking it under there like that all right let's close her up and get going all right good morning it's Friday morning, and we are on the east side of Columbus, Ohio. We've got about two hours to go to deliver our stuff. We're in Canton. We'll go outside, take a look real quick. Sun's coming up. I got the truck warming up. Hey, uh, it's a little chilly out here. A little chilly out here. I had to put my Dorsey hat on. Keep my head warm. Today's video, sponsored by Dorsey Trailer. Load's doing good, it, it rained yesterday, it's windy yesterday. I talked about why I put the wood on here to help hold the tarp down. Yesterday's a good example, it was like super crazy windy yesterday. And uh, putting that wood on the back there just keeps that tarp from flopping around. So, you guys like looking at the trailer lights at nighttime? So, looks good. Everything looks good. We're at the uh, rest area here in Hep Hubbard, Hubbard, Ohio. Big rest area. There's the sunrise. It's a pretty day today. All right, let's get going. We got two hours to go. Deliver this. We got to reload. We got a busy day today. We got a busy weekend. And uh, I'll tell you about what else is coming up. So, we'll talk to you in a bit. Turn right. All right, we made it over here to Canton. Take the next right. I've been here before. It's been a long time. Let's see if I can remember how to do this.
I remember right, shipping office is up here on the right hand side. Let's see, driver check in, door number 46. I don't remember those signs there. They did a lot better with their signs, because I don't remember those signs here. Alright, now we gotta do is just find door 46. unloaded pretty quick and then uh, we're gonna head over to uh, Wadsworth and uh, get reloaded. It's the end of the day. We're over here in New, I think it's New Paris, Ohio. We're right on the Ohio Indiana line. It was a long day today. I got the truck washed. No, oh, not long, but I'm just tired. I'm uh, getting wore out. I'm at the Petro truck stop. I hate to turn the camera around and show you guys this, but this is the reason why we can't have nice stuff. Look at all that trash back there. Little tires and everything. That's why we can't have nice stuff. But I did wash the truck. Old Dorsey trailer is all clean. Much better. We got rolled roofing on here. Let's see if you guys can see it. But uh, tarp job come out pretty nice. So that trailer come out pretty good too I'll get a little bit of polish on them doors eventually look <laughs> so I used my red tarp and I missed it by that much what's that three feet so I had to put the blue tarp so the blue tarp goes you can see the blue tarp way up there missed it by that much but the uh, Dorsey trailer come out clean looks pretty good Looks pretty good. Tarp job's nice. Everything's looking good over here. This uh, this guy right here, this is a car hauler, like an enclosed car hauler trailer. This McAllister's. They uh, 
a United agent for household goods. Let me step back a little bit. Hang on. Their trailers are just kind of like a NASCAR trailer. The back of it. The back of it folds open. They can lift the cars up. Put them in there. But uh, this McAllister. I don't know what the story is. But they started hauling cars. Oh. I want to say maybe 10 years ago. Let's see if you guys can see the name. But uh, that's what that is. Enclosed car haulers. All right. Um, we're on the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm going to go get a shower and we'll do it again tomorrow.